hello friends let's see the solve the problem of compound entrance just in one minutes let's see the some examples of it there is a 60 percent is increase in an amount in six year at simple interest what will be the compound interest of rupees 12,000 after three years at the same rate and so let's see the solution let's assume p it is the uh, simple interest uh, rupees is 100 right so then simple interest increased by 60 percent is so rupees 60 we have to get the benefit for t means six years consecutive six years right let's see the formula i think you know the very well the formula of red right if p it is the means right a simple interest is 60 i is equal to p r n upon n right so n means 60 year right so p it is 100 right simple interest is 60 so 100 into 60 divided by 100 into 6 so we get the rate rate means uh, per year interest 10 percent as we get right so what uh, user are investment uh, invest investment the amount 12,000 rupees for three years and rate is 10 percent is find the compound interest what is the formula of the compound interest uh, right p into 1 plus r upon 100 minus 1 and rest to n and rest to n so let's see 12 it is the p 12000 it is the p t it is the year year means n right so consecutive 3 years and red it is the 10 so we get that uh, uh, value uh, if we are replacing the uh, replacing the value in the our formula 12000 into 1 plus 10 divided by 100 rest to n minus 1 so 12,000 into 331 divided by 1,000. So what is the answer for the for consecutive uh, compound years? Three years. Uh, that is the 3972. Let's see the other examples. What will be the compound interest on a sum of rupees 25,000 after three years at the rate of 12? At the rate of 12. First of all, we have to find right. I, I think how how many concept are given over here first n it is the three years right we have got 12 percent is and what is the sum of rupees that is the 25,000 so right uh, put it the in our formula 25,000 into 1 plus 12 12 it is the red upon 100 how many years three years so 25,000 into 28 upon 25 into 28 upon 25 into 28 upon 25 what we have to get rupees 35,123.20 right what is the sum of the three years after three years it to 25,000 what we have to get compound interest rate 35,123.20 so subtract that uh, sum of that amount minus 25,000 what we are getting compound interest after 3 years 10,123.20 and so that is our answer let's see the another examples simple interest on a certain sum of money for 3 years at 8 per annum is half the compound interest on rupees 4,000 for 2 years at 10 percentage per annum the sum plus on simple interest is so I uh, we have to find over here it is a simple interest solution is and over here we are getting compound interest 4000 for two years and what is the rate 10 percent is right so I think there is another formula over here 4000 into 1 plus 10 10 it is the rate upon 100 how many years two years minus 4000 so what we are getting over here that is the compound interest 8840 zero. Zero. what is the concept of the in second line right 8 percent is per annum is half of the compound interest right what we are getting compound interest over here 840 that is a half of that 
compound interest we are getting simple interest simple interest we got half it is the at 420 so 420 and right how many years three years and what is the rate eight percentage so 420 into 100 upon 3 into 8 what we are getting the sum of after three years right that is the 1750 that is our answer friends if you like our video subscribe our youtube channel thank you very much